All right, so today we're gonna to talk about a do-it-all bike that literally does everything. If I had to go and pick a single bike to do whatever it was that I wanted to do, whether that was ride cross-country trails, ride downhill bikes at the bike park, ride whatever, my local stuff, this is really one of the options that I would strongly, strongly be considering. And this is the Santa Cruz Hightower. Hightower has been in the lineup from Santa Cruz for a very long time now. It is a well-known bike, some would say a household name when it comes to buying a mountain bike. The reason it is so good is because of the amount of travel that it has. It has 145 mil travel in the rear. You can run a 150 or a 160 up front. It is still reasonably lightweight. It is agile, it is supple, and Santa Cruz has one of the best suspension platforms in the entire world. And I think that's been known for a very long time with their VPP system. Definitely something I'd recommend to somebody that's looking for a bike that can do everything. Kind of going into some of the details here, one of the reasons that I think Santa Cruz does so well is obviously because of the name and the lifetime warranty that they carry, but it's also because you get into a full suspension bike with an elite level suspension platform like BPP, and then you have a whole bunch of different build kit options that are available from the brand. So it really makes the bike a little more accessible in comparison to some of the other kind of bougie high-end mountain bikes. So really good choice in terms of spec, really good choices in terms of spec, I guess. In this particular case, I, I like the way that the back end of this bike feels. It feels like the bike actually steers very quickly around tight corners. It also climbs exceptionally well for a 145 mil travel bike. I usually like to be on a bike that's even less travel than this and just be undergunned for whatever I'm doing, but I actually feel like the pedal ability on a high tower is pretty exceptional. Whether you're standing and climbing or you're sitting and climbing, I think it's a really, really great option. I've actually had good luck when it comes to being able to get out of the saddle and climb on this bike. And I say good luck because there's a lot of bikes out there that are in this travel range that really, when you stand up, they feel awkward because of how slack they are. This bike is slack, but it's not too slack where it feels like it's a full on downhill bike. Now on the flip side of things, the going down, the fun stuff that everybody actually cares about, this bike is a blast. It eats up everything in terms of, in terms of the way that the suspension actually works on the trail. It really feels like butter. I mean, you can set this thing up however you want, but I think this thing is incredibly smooth while still being pedalable. And I think that's one of the things that's always a worry when it comes to getting a bike that's 140, 150, 160 is, is it gonna climb? Is it gonna pedal in the flats really well? And I think the amount of suspension bob is appropriate for a bike like this. There is not, you don't feel like you're sitting into the bike as much as you do on some of the other options in this category. I really feel like this is, uh, if you're looking for that option that can kind of do whatever, this is kind of where things live. Now, 29er wheels, obviously. So bigger wheelbase, bigger wheels overall, a little bit better rolling resistance as opposed to a 27.5. I'm not a fan of a mullet, but Santa Cruz does have a Bronson and a 5010 that kind of fits on either side of this bike, depending on what it is that you're looking for. I think this is the jack of all trades option when it comes to looking at a Santa Cruz. I find myself wondering sometimes if the bikes are sized wrong. Like I'm normally a large, I'm six foot tall. This is a large is normally my bread and butter. A large traditionally from Santa Cruz feels a little bit small, but on this particular model, I actually feel like the large is a perfect happy medium for me. So take all of that with a grain of salt when you're starting to consider your options in terms of sizing. Now this particular spec is really awesome. It comes with a GX transmission. Comes with a Super Deluxe in the rear, RockShox Lyric up front with a ton of adjustability, um, some SRAM brakes that are better than normal SRAM brakes, but they're still SRAM brakes. So again, take that with a grain of salt. Also have the ever so popular glove box, so you can fit all kinds of stuff on the inside of your frame, um, which is really neat. A lot of companies are doing this now. This is not a unique to Santa Cruz thing, but I think that they do one of the better jobs when it comes to this because you actually can mount a bottle cage right on top of this and the whole unit just comes right out. They even stick a little tool bag in there for you as well so you don't have just random stuff rattling on the inside of your frame. Dropper post. This actually has a one-up dropper post, which I think is a huge upgrade when you think about 
what dropper post comes on a bike normally, like this build in the past has been with a RockShox Reverb, and that's the worst dropper post of all time, like ever. There's not one that is worse than that one. This is an excellent choice. This is a true bike rider's bike. There's not a single thing on this bike that I would go and change right away. It's fully spec'd out. And granted, this is a more expensive build, but I think they did an excellent job at making this a bike for people that really want to actually just take the bike and ride and not worry about changing out bars, changing out their cockpit, changing out fork, tires, any of those things. This is extremely well set up and extremely durable. You also get the lifetime warranty on the bearings for Santa Cruz product as well. So all in all, I, I really think that this is the go-to option when it comes to a do-everything bike. If you're looking at other options from other brands, I think there's a lot of choices that come to mind one of which is my all-time favorite bike in the Rebel Rail 29. This is just a little smoother, to be honest. Like, the Rebel climbs better. This feels a little better on the downhill. So I think you're gonna be talking about making the decision for you and what's best for what you do and you like to do on a regular basis. But overall, this is a super, super impressive product. The way the bike prices have gone up in the last few years, has certainly impacted the whole industry, but Santa Cruz has maintained a really good build for the money in this high tower. So you tell me, what do you think? Santa Cruz high tower C with a GX transmission.